This is my slip and fly. And today we're gonna be adding the final piece to the top of it, which will make it the world's biggest slip and fly jump. So when building the world's biggest slip and slide jump, we built it to be put together in three sections. We started with a six foot, which was perfect oh, yeah. until we realized we needed a new source of speed. Our friends barely made it off the ramp. So we decided to use a car wheel as our new winch. We wrapped a rope around the wheel and it gave us more than enough speed because I almost cleared the entire pond. That was the coolest thing we've ever done ever on this channel, bro. Then after perfecting that, we added the eight foot and we got launched over 20 to 30 feet in the air. And now today we are gonna be adding the third section, which is gonna make it the world's biggest slip and slide jump in my backyard. We're getting ready for the 12 foot. So in order for us to put the 12 foot on, we need to have successful jumps on the eight foot and then we'll be able to add that final piece. But also we have a lot of special guests today. So we have Mauro here. We got Caperin, so the Funk Bros are back reunited. We've got Toby, hopefully he's not gonna kill himself. <laughs> Are you good? You good? Are we good? Probably will. Zay, you need to let me go. So I want to put everyone's claims to rest. They say this isn't the world's biggest. It's about to be. Tijuana Water Park, tallest when they have seven feet. Waco, tallest when they have six feet. The one in France, the one that people do like quadruple flips off of, that's only like nine feet, bro. This is right now eight feet. It's about to get to 12. We need to do the same test as we did in the last video. We're going to get a couple bags, fill them up with water, and we're going to launch the bag off to make sure we're good. Oh my God, it's so clean, damn it. You put the special the safety, safety thing, the, safety the rock. Hands. That rock basically makes it so you can't push the pedal to the floor. I'm on the last video, people were talking about like how you'd like bring people out here like way later on, right? And then somebody like is gonna move the rock. Who's going first? Oh God, Capernish. Let's get it, buddy. It's okay if you just go off at first regular and no, then try to no, flip. No, 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 no. You're just gonna try to flip. <laughs> yeah, let's get into it. Love you, Rydell, love you, Super, love you, sweetie. Three, two, Oh my god. oh my god! He did that perfect! Was that not full blast? No. Whoa. Felt like kind of weak. We go faster, right? Oh. God damn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> to clarify, that was insane. Props to Corey because this is a dream come true. He's building this in his backyard. So the first time I tested it and it worked well, so now I'm gonna throw really hard. Try to get the double Let's round. Get him a good 4-3, okay? And not over the pond. All right, Dave, you ready? Ready! Three, two, one, go! You good? I'm good. I'm good. It, it wasn't the same. Uh, it was like pull, slide, pull, and I, I couldn't control that. Yeah, you got the slingshot. That's what happened to us like during the first. That's why we did so much testing. Was that scarier? Of course. My heart's freaking beating on my chest. It's so different. It's so weird. Everything's different. The variable of the weight of a person and how hard you need to press on the pedal. And it's a manual car, which just isn't helpful. So we need to make sure everything is like safe and sound before we go off the 12 foot. Like so people like, are on average going to be going 25 feet in the air down, and flipping down. uncontrollably. So we need to make sure everyone lands safely because water can feel like concrete at some of these heights but I'm guaranteeing you by the end of this video we're gonna be going 40 feet in the air if not higher. How did that planning feel? It hurt my butt a lot like, I was like <laughs> but I act like nothing happened. All right double flip. Okay so Kipper's gonna try to get the double flip now which we have not seen. Franco was trying to get it the last time and he failed. So let's see if Kipper can one-up him. All right let's see you Kipper. Ready three two one go oh Oh my God, it's not deep there at all. You good? Yeah. So when Capron went off the ramp, the rope did not follow its original course, which is really bad because there's a big metal grate over there and that part of the pond is shallow. And now all we have to do is just make some adjustments so no one gets hurt. It just didn't go over. Yeah, it's not getting enough pulled that way. Things changed because we're like, we moved everything. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have to run a couple more tests on this. It just shows how hard it is to make this thing go off accurately and safely. That, that was, was perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Awesome. While we're doing some test launches, me and the boys decided to go over and grab the final piece of the ramp. All right, perfect. So sick. This is like the final piece of the puzzle of the crazy. Do you really need to add this? Yes. I think it's big enough already. People are saying it's not the world's biggest. It is the world's biggest. And you're good right there. I'm gonna try to triple first time. I think time. triple's so good. <laughs> first time? First time. Just so. Uh, I'm scared. This is Corey Little. He's basically a professional flipper. This is eight feet? Yeah, that's eight feet. It's gonna go another three feet. Five out, two, two. Holy sh Oops, this, this is gonna buck us. Like, we're not gonna go there. We're gonna go this. Are we going across the whole pond? Yeah. <laughs> we're adding more to this? Yes. <laughs> no way, dude. And I don't think people realize how steep this is either. Everyone agrees to risk their life going up this ramp, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so one more test lunge. Special ears. It looks good. 
Oh, I'm ready. I want to make sure everyone's safe. I'm gonna risk my life before everyone else's. We had some not so good stuff the other day. I'm okay with risking my life. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Right, do the practice. Yep, there it is. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. That was so high. It ran up the side. It did run up the side. Yes, it really you did. did. Why are you doing that? I made it though. Like, really far. That's Ooh, sketchy. Well, we tried to fix the issue, but it didn't work, as you'll see. So, Toby's deciding to do it without the tube, which is kind of not smart, in my opinion, but he just wants to try something new as we're going through the testing process. You don't have to do anything for the camera. We get views. If I don't eat this is not, no, no, the camera no, no, doesn't matter. Yeah, none of us. <laughs> You're like, this doesn't it. matter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do not say that. I think you should sit in the tube. Like, honestly, I just think you should. Is that like a badge of I'll honor? I'll be good. This is kind of crazy. Three, two, one, go! This is sketchy as <laughs> Yeah, we need to go faster than that. Oh my god! <laughs> Why did that stop? We gotta. That. It's always been going up the 2x4 and now it's not so anything between the 2x4 and the pad is not even the issue It's the issue that it's starting on the 2x4 and staying on the 2x4. It's not straightening and going up it I don't know. I'm almost thinking like even if it was brought up like a couple two or three feet We or finally found our solution which was a piece of wood just one piece of wood right on the other ramp. Yep Now we're good So Capron wanted to hit it one last time here comes the dub baby for Koi brother fun. All right Capron you ready? Let's hit it three Two, one! Oh! You didn't get the double! Now I, I have to, to look at triple. I want you to go now. You know what to do, right? Yeah. You're the pro here. Capron's not, right? I'm the pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the pro. Exactly. All you have to do is just get ready for the 12, all right? Okay. The 12 foot's coming next, all right? All right, let's do it. You got it. <laughs> oh my god! You good? Yeah. Dude, this guy freaking <laughs> yay straight to his back. Dude, did you notice how high you were? Or did you not? Uh, he's just coasting. Oh my just god. Just <laughs> There's a technique to this, believe it or not, and I'm trying to figure it out. The way Capron was saying it is try to like flip it like a scooter, and I just learned how to backflip a scooter a few weeks ago. Right, Frank is about to hug the dub. Right, good luck, good luck. Triple! The triple! The triple's possible! The triple's possible! You can do three! Oh my god! You guys are gonna make me look bad. I'm gonna go up and do a single and look like an idiot. <laughs> First time. A new contestant has arrived. First time, bro. I'm Mike this lips. All right. Your oh. Good luck, sir. Whoa! <laughs> Dude, I'm a little scared for it, John. Yeah, sign the uh, waiver? We have waivers. So this is Mike, another professional flipper, and he's about to go for. I'm gonna try double. We love when doubles are tried, because maybe sometimes they don't do it, which is funny. Three, two, one, go! You good? That's what happens when you bring professionals here, bro. We haven't put the 12 foot on yet. Oh my lord. I literally just tried to rip it and I did not need to. Yo, so if I really cranked that, I could probably hit quad on. No, if you just held on to that, you yeah. don't have to crank it. Just wait, do what wait, you wait. just did and hold on. Do Look how high you went. Yeah, you were up there. <laughs> Yo, that looked crazy, bro. Where are you going? Because I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm here to have fun. <laughs> we have a damaged water slide we bought about a couple months ago, and he knows how to fix the entire thing. So I got to test this thing out. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready, buddy? Yeah, man, I'm ready. <laughs> I get it, bro. Dude, this guy has no idea what he's doing. He's never done anything no, he's like never this done before. Done <laughs> he's never done oh, oh, my God. <laughs> you good? I didn't even let go of <laughs> See, I told you, it's scary, and you might not let go. I think I'll let go next time. That was better than expected, hey, bro. Should I try double? Or Just do what your heart tells you. I don't know what my heart tells I mean, we'll figure it out in the air. Yeah, That's pretty much it. I'm going to either face plant, back flop, or just land it perfectly. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, he almost landed on the tube. Can I go again? Really? I want to actually do it good now. Oh, baby, redemption. Oh, Oh, <laughs> 
Cool. Little redemption. There we go. Yeah, that was good. Now that the launches are going great, we're gonna try human skeet shooting with our faction blasters. That one hits hard, huh? I don't know. Sure we're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go up as like the the skeet shot thing? I think Zay would be perfect for this. Zay, let's do it. You or Toby gotta get rock paper scissors for it. Uh, rock paper scissors shoot. Yeah, shoot the water. Look. They oh. oh. I didn't even expect to go off today. Well, now you do expect to go off. So hey, that's don't good. worry. You're not just going off. You're a target for us. <laughs> target practice. Bro, we gotta get good, you know? All right, boys, let's go skeet shooting. Three, two, one, pull! The gel beads are soft, safe, and non-toxic. They disintegrate on impact, so no more cleaning up foam darts. All right, you can just skeet shoot me now. All right. Skeet shoot! <laughs> they might not have skeet shooting, but they have in-game modes like capture the flag, team elimination, and battle royale. The Faction Battle server manages all aspects of the game, so you can play in the real world. Download the app and take your gel blaster battle to the next level. So thank you, Faction. All right, so far the tests have been going smoothly. We're gonna put on the little plane that we used in the last video. So we're gonna practice going off the top of this ramp with this. Never done this one before, but I feel like this is gonna be great. Off the 12 foot, it's gonna be really gnarly because it's the world's yeah, biggest. Three, two, one. The tube smacks harder than anyone. Bro, I just hope I don't backflop again. <laughs> That was really fast. Yo, that was insane. Dude, you flew. You didn't have to do anything. No, literally I had to do nothing and it was perfect. I think I like Hondas now. Hondas are cool. Okay, what's even crazier, I'm actually a professional scooter rider, so I'm gonna be using this exact ramp to jump my house. That's I because everyone be liked sick. the video. Yeah, so doing something like on a floaty is just kind of weird, like it's very different. Three, two, one, launch jump. Out. Dude, that was freaking weird. My voice is gone because I was screaming my head off as I was flying. Ah! How are you feeling for number two? Any plans? Dude, I just don't like this. So scary. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh. 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 Such a weird impact right here. <laughs> I was just like, what did I hurt the most? <laughs> oh yeah, such a weird impact here. <laughs> there was such a bright light. All right, here comes Mike again. Yes, sir! You did it! Yes, sir! <laughs> There's no chance I could have halfed out, but I felt the triple still, bro. Dude. Yeah, Nate, that's what I'm talking about. That was nuts. Yes! Moro, Moro, Moro. First time doing this on the belly? Ever. Oh! I mean, I did the lower level, but nothing like this. All right, who <laughs> thinks he's going to belly flop? I <laughs> And the, the life jacket doesn't fit me, so it's literally going to be my belly. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Mauro built this thing. He has no experience doing anything like this, except the last time he did a slip and fly, he flopped. So I'm a trained professional. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, of course you are. Good luck, buddy. Oh, go. Too. That was terrifying, but it was so sick. <laughs> oh, shit. Time to put the 12 footer on. Oh my god. We're gonna start taking everything down and getting everything prepped for the 12 foot. Dude, this is too tall. Oh my god. This is so tall, bro. Yeah, it's stupid. This is Operation. Holy sh. So basically what Nate is doing, he's building a platform for the ramp to be slid out on, and then it sits on that platform. This is the biggest ramp I have ever seen in person. And you built it. And I built it. This thing is so big, bro. I really hope this shows through on camera how big this thing is. If you think we should take our scooters, bikes, skateboards off of this, I want to see your comments down below if you want to see that. I'm literally standing across the lake and it looks like a tower. What the hell am I doing? What do you actually think about this? I think you've overdone it. Just, a, just a little bit, you know? Yeah, just I know. A little. I'm I've never done anything like this. I'm just going to go and try to figure it out in the end. It's just kind of sketchy because in person it's a lot bigger. I'm really I'm just gonna close my eyes until I hear a splash. <laughs> <laughs> I've never experienced slip and slides like this, that's for sure. Pork baby! Woo! Get over here, Matt. Yeah. 
feet. So this is our dummy, his name is Dummy Day, and we're gonna be sending him off the ramp first. I feel this is the perfect scenario to have a dummy actually dummy. test it out is before it? us. This is gonna be real fun to see what happens. <laughs> Kobe, I haven't even gotten it in the hole. Go this hole, the hole that yeah, is just do, just do the opposite. She keeps saying such stuff. <laughs> no trying, succeeding only here. Go down. What go are down. you doing? Go down. Shoot, go down. Your face is gone. <laughs> go down. All right, guys, we're getting test launch number one. Even though this is a test launch, I wanted to see how far we could push it. So at the end of the day, we were planning to launch Dummy Dave in second gear at full speed off the 12 foot ramp. We're gonna see what happens. Three, two, one, go! Oh! 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 No way. That's gonna be nuts. He landed in a great spot. A good test launch. All right, Corey, your turn. You got this. Easy, easy, easy. Just like Nitro Circus. That's a little bit different. We're going off a huge ramp and landing on the flat instead of like Nitro's like going off a big jump and landing on a big jump. Yeah, I feel safer going off Nitro Circus ramp than this thing. I know, me too. Like a lot safer. That's why, like, jumping this is house, dangerous. I like, feel safer. Oh, Nate's right foot. Can you make sure you don't kill me? Ever since you moved in, a big moment here at Rush Park. Your life's on the line. I invited professionals. I'm, I hope I'm not held to that standard. But when there's a ramp and I have a scooter, that's okay. You can hold me to whatever stand you like. All right, good luck, buddy. Love you. Thank you. Jesus Christ. You ready for the countdown? Hope this stuff works. Let's go for it. Holy crap. <laughs> My God, that was the most unreal feeling, dude. You go like as high as nitro, and then you're literally landing on the fucking water. I'm so glad I did that, but I'm so glad I'm not gonna be doing that again. Oh, you're terrified? Doing Absolutely wing terrified. Shoot right now? Oh, dude. Was... Here, we're ready, bro. Any final words? Do or die, baby. Or flop, I guess. Or <laughs> flop. Ready, my words. Out here, we're breaking records Two. out here. Oh my God. One. That was insanely perfect, dude. I wanna rip that and go way faster, bro. You're getting a full 100. You're gonna hit the moon. Three, two, one, go! Dude, bro, this is gonna be crazy as Oh my god! Oh! Bro! Gosh, bro. I mean, I saved it, but that was crazy. Crazy. Oh, oh my god. god. I could have easily done triple. Ramp. Oh my god. Dude, that is so high. Like, Holy sh. Up by the trees. Zoom. Dude, I had no fing idea how high that was. Dude, you went up like the world's biggest slip and fly, and you went so high, bro. Dude, how are you feeling about it? Dude, that's so scary, bro. I guess so. Oh my yeah, I'm next. God, bro. I would say I recommend that to everyone, but never try this at home. Oh my god. You put it on, bro. I gotta take a nervous. I'm scared. <laughs> I definitely understand that feeling. You got it, buddy. I got it. There's just like not a thought behind my eyes right now except landing this. Just don't kill him, okay? I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah. You got it, buddy. Wow! Oh my god! Dude, this is crazy. Oh my god, you ready? Holy. You want faster or? We can definitely go faster. All right, let's reset. All right, what are you hitting right now? 4,200 though? Okay, so higher than anybody else has hit off this. We get an angle from right where he's about to land so we can see him like right from there. All right, Uncle Nate, whenever you're ready. Three, two, one, go! Toby says he's gonna go for a death dive, but we the have no idea what's gonna happen. largest death dive off of a ramp. I've hit ramps like this before, but this scares me, and he's hitting it, and he's never done anything like this before. That shows you how ballsy he is. All right, we ready? Three, two, one. You got it, buddy. Go! Oh my god! 
<laughs> Whoa, dude, that was nuts. I, I went with my eyes open. I'm not hurt, just my eyes were open. All right, Corey, your turn. Corey, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. What happened to your limbs, buddy? I'm over here. Drink milk. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is actually like an $800 like real mannequin from Mythbusters. We bought it on eBay just so we can do stuff like this. We originally like supposed to use it for like catapult and other things, but we couldn't really put them in anything that really made sense, but this really does. I don't think it's gonna unscrew. I wasn't trying to unscrew it, I was just trying to oh. break his neck. Nice, good job, you did it. Good luck, Dummy Dave. Okay, so we've got Dummy Dave all strapped up so he doesn't fly out. We're gonna go second gear at 5,000 RPM. That means that like when he's over there, he'll be going four times as fast as we've ever been going. We'll give the beads 5K, already. Three, two, one, get it! Look at this, strongest merch in the game, bro. It's all good. Come on, wake up on us, dude. Wake up on us. Come on, wake up. Wake, wake up. up, wake up. So right now, this ramp is being pulled by a car. And later on, I'm actually gonna be building an entire Dan ramp from the slide that I purchased a couple months ago. It's a structure that sits over 30 feet tall. Where we'll be able to build mag ramps off of it and literally everything to the slip and fly. And we're building an entire series on us building it, which you guys can be checking out. God, dude, I hate the weird rip. I'm even looking at building a skate park here. Whatever else I feel or deem cool to be something that has to do with a rush, something that's an adrenaline rush, something that gives you that feeling of, wow, that was fun, that made me feel alive. If you want to support what I'm building here, you guys can go ahead, go in the link in the description, and get some as it helps so much and helps me build everything here. Oh my God! All right, you ready for me to take my scooter off this thing? You sh what? <laughs> 